The next insect, or the last insect on our list, is the locust borer. Um, this is very distinctive of any insect we've seen so far. It's solid black with bright, bright yellow markings. It has very distinctive long antennae. The antennae are going to be almost as long or as long as the insect's body. Um, but this will be, this is the only insect on the list that has these bright colored markings. So it's very easy to distinguish. The larvae is a very indescript white caterpillar with a red, very tiny, tiny red head, um, and it has a round head. So um, it does not look like any of the other caterpillars in the group. There are no hairs on it. Um, it just looks like just skin, just white wrinkly skin. Um, and you can see the damage that the larvae cause in the, the tree, in the locust. It bores these long tunnels um, and feeds around those tunnels and just leaves big holes and concave. If you don't have the inside, you can see on the mature tree, it makes these large, large holes um, where the insects are boring in and out of the tree. Um, so very distinguishable damage. Um, no other insect that we looked at will cause these large, large holes in the tree or as wide and deep of cavities where they burrow, um, unlike the southern pine beetle and the bark beetles that have very shallow galleries. The locust borer has very deep, thick galleries. And again, it, the adult is just that black, black, shiny color with bright, bright yellow markings with long, skinny legs and long antennae. It will be very, very distinctive from anything else that you see and that's the locust borer.